Hey guys, Beats Hair Plumbing here, and today I'm with my elongated 1978 Kohler Wellworth Water Guard on the flushometer. So, this thing actually has a way better flush than I expected, especially on the 3.5, but um, because it uses so much water and the tank runs out so quick, um, I'll probably do two or three flushes on the 3.5 diaphragm, and then I'm gonna go ahead and switch to 1.6 because it still flushes just as good, just the flush is not as long, not as long, obviously. Um, I do apologize, the bowl is a little bit dirty. That wouldn't come off with the rag and i don't really feel like scrubbing it down but um this toilet is really cool these aren't the greatest performers but this is kind of like um i, I can't remember the name of them but Kohler made a version just like this but actually designed for flushometer so um the pressure tank is completely full so let's see here I'm trying to set my phone i got a new phone case on my phone that's like a battery pack so my phone uh, is super thick now, so it's kind of hard for me to put it in my tripod, but, um, the reflection is honestly kind of annoying. I'm sorry about that. I don't really know what to do about it, but, um, I'll just do the best I can, so here is a flush. <laughs> Definitely a nice, powerful flush. Um, I don't think the that pressure will really help too much with performance. Just like this, even though it has a much more powerful flush, it doesn't change the fact that it's not a great performer. So, I mean, on a dye test or, you know, something smaller, maybe just on normal use, this is fine. But anything other than normal use in this toilet isn't very good. Eventually, I'll probably have to set these up again and do actual tests on them but for now i'm just gonna try and get many as many of these flush armor videos out as possible because y'all really do seem to love them a lot so and honestly since i have a lot of older toilets that use so much water i might consider either getting another 20 gallon tank and making it a 40 gallon setup or just get a giant tank like an 86 gallon one which would be absolutely insane but um should be uh, enough water for another flush so here we go Alrighty, so just so this doesn't end up like a 10 minute video, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here and I will be back when the tank is full and I'll give you all one or two more flushes on 3.5 and then I'll go ahead and switch to a 1.6 diaphragm. Okay, I am back and actually while I was waiting for the tank to fill, I looked on uh, the Home Depot app and my Home Depot actually has a couple pressure tanks uh, in stock. So what I think I'm gonna do is get a 32 gallon and connect it to this 20 gallon one. That way I have 52 gallon tank um, and that should be plenty for a video to make, um, you know, for 3.5 toilets because the 1.6 toilets are fine. They don't use a lot of water. So I only have to wait, you know, maybe 10 seconds and it's ready for another flush. But um, the 3.5 ones take a lot longer to make. So just because I have to wait for the tank to fill, but here's one last flush on 3.5 and then I will be switching to a 1.6 diaphragm. So here's a flush. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the 1.6 diaphragm and I'll be back. Okay, um, tank is pretty much all full. As y'all can hear, it's like barely filling now. So I'm just gonna do a couple of flushes until the tank runs out. Again, this is on 1.6. It might flush slightly weaker uh, just because of the diaphragm. Uh, I don't know why it does that, but on the 3.5, it makes it a little bit more powerful. But uh, yeah, here's a flush on 1.6. Yeah, really not much of a difference other than a shorter flush but even on 1.6 that was pretty um that was a pretty good flush so now i guess i'll do more close up kind of like well not that close actually let me put y'all on the tripod and i can get a steady close-up shot that way it'll stay focused and doesn't unfocus because i'm moving around so much so okay i'd say that's a pretty good angle i'll do one flush at this angle and then one on the other side just so y'all can see like the rim jets in action okay here's another flush
Alrighty, I'm gonna do one flush like this, and then I'll go ahead and flush it until the tank runs out. I'm just gonna wait for the water to stop trickling first. And again, I really don't know why the water gets cloudy like that. It, after a minute, it'll go away, but it's really weird. Here's another flush. The way the water aggressively shoots out from this side kind of reminds me of a, a like a Clark Kingston water guard, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, now I'll flush until the tank runs out. So yeah, I really do hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave your comments down below, and also maybe leave a suggestion for a toilet you'd like to see next. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.